hello friends welcome to expo youtube channel today we'll be going to learn about how to add table in ms word documents via multiple ways and how you can use auto fit function for your table in order to adjust the tie the dimension and the size as well and how you can do a merging cell inserting rows and columns with a click of a button only and how you can design your table as well as convert the table into text and text into table as well moreover you will be able to learn about how to sort table information as well like we do in excel but here we can also do some kind of sorting as well further we'll be able to learn about header and footer first step how to add tables so friends there are five ways so i show you first four ways what you have to do is you have to open your word document and then go to insert tab over there you will find the table and here you will see the column as well as the rows in square boxes so you can choose any number of column and box rows in column boxes in order to add the table so in case i would like to add only eight columns and five rows so i just click on one here and the table is being added here right now so i click further down and go back to insert and then try to add table with another method so here we see insert table insert table means a pop-up has come up where it is asking for you to how many columns you are required to display as well as the rows right now by default it has shows five columns in case i would like to have four columns only and three rows i can fill it up here and then press on ok so you will see a table has displayed on ms word document so let's go for the third step go back to insert tab then click on table and here click on draw table so you will find a pencil it will come up like this way you can draw this way like I'm doing right now so you can add your column customized depending on your need although it is very handy as well because sometimes you need only limited number of columns and rows and you want to make it customized depending on your need as well so you can add any number of columns and rows by drawing it and you can see friends whenever I work on these three columns if I click in any of the column you can see on top design and layout tab has got activated and you can click on design you will find this ribbon over here and you can see the draw table and eraser if you click on eraser it got golden color and you will find eraser side icon instead of pencil icon so in case you don't want any kind of row line you can click on it it will get disappear similarly if you would like to remove multiple rows then you have to just select those and leave it it will get disappear in a moment similarly you can also disappear this overrub column line so that how that's how this draw table has worked it can also work in in your other column table as well if you get table through square tables or insert table you can see here it works there as well now friends we click to add new table and here we go to table and then you can click on excel spreadsheet if you click it you will see a Excel spreadsheet like table has come up over here and you can move it anywhere up down right left because on top you can see whatever tabs or ribbon you see on Excel spreadsheet it has disappeared appear over here as well in MS Word documents so many of the word MS user might not be able to know about this or didn't get familiar about this one so I let you know in case you have to do some kind of calculations and you need MS Excel spreadsheet like column 
rows over here in MS Word documents. You can do this. Go to insert tab, go to table, go to add access spreadsheet column. So here I'll do a kind of simulation for you in a moment where you have cred given credit to someone and you would like to do a calculation on Word document rather than on Excel spreadsheet. So you can use the formula straight way over here as well. Do not have to visit on Excel spreadsheet and you can start your work over here. Now friends, if you click outside the table border has gone. If you click double inside, you can see the border has come up with rows and column. Now you would like to squeeze this. You have to go into the center on the right side and drag it until where you would like to squeeze the table. Similarly, you can do from bottom as well. And then click outside. You will find that the table has appeared over here as well. Go to insert go to table this is the fifth step how you can add table so here you will already find by default available samples or formats by ms word document and you can click on anyone in order to add the table if i click on this matrix and i would like to display a matrix in my ms word document so i can start do a uh, editing over here and start making figures to be displayed over here so we have learned so far the five methods through which you can add table on on ms word document so we will move to the next step effective use of auto fit function friends sometimes you made a table and it didn't look nice or somebody sent you or you sent to someone else and you can see the formatting over here is not quite good so you just have to click on this icon, select it, and you can see on the top the design and tab layout has come up. Click on layout and you can see auto fit here. Click on the first option auto fit contents and you can see in a moment the table has got a very nice layout over here and organized information. Now friends, for instance, you want to delete or in delete some information from the table now you can see here if i click on the third name chairman and i click backspace there is no movement over here reason being uh, let me just make it more you can see the table has started getting wider and if you get a backspace by deleting the word the length of the word it will start squeezing so that's the way easily you can use auto fit function first option because you don't have to go to each line and then carry it left or right to make the word or column or cell dimensions so we again click it and go to the second option here in auto fit window click on auto fit window it will make sure word table depending on the word document dimensions so here what you can do if you add more information in your word document it will get wider and in case and you start doing backspace it will not get squeezed so this happens in the second option that it didn't get squeezed due to the function already by default settings so now we will go to the third option and click on out of it and click on fixed or column width so this time you can see that column has already got its width reason being if i started adding more words the length the size the dimension of the word column remains same it did not get squeezed it did not get wider by adding more information or deleting less information so you can see here these are the benefits you get through auto fit function in all right friends now we'll be going to move to third option where we have to merge cells inserting rows and columns
So if you click on table anywhere and you can see the design and layout tab has come up and in case you wanted to add above any row you click here insert above it will add new row if you click to get a row below you have to click on insert below similarly if you wanted to add a new column on the left side of the name click on insert left and if you want the column on the right side of the name click on right you start getting the columns was from here you do not have to click on right click every time I start adding this information through this it takes a lot of time but here straight away you don't have to visit anywhere else you just have to make a click add or merge these two columns right now you can merge it in case you want these first two columns data and the bill number split cells click here it will ask you how many columns you need right now there are only two columns for instance we needed three and we need only one row so you can see here now the three rows in single rows three column has come up so th that's the easiest way you can add more information through these split cells for your word documents table preparation in case if you wanted this last two rows to get split from the rest of the table click in front of 13th july and click on split table under the layout you clicked it and the rest of the table get apart from these last two rows so that's how we can merge cell insert rows insert columns split cells and split table as well this function over here here is designing table and conversion as you can see here right now the formatting is being done that I selected this and then I go to a home tab then I give it background this color now friends you can see in case you wanted this whole column to get the same color the date has got at the background go on top of the date you see a bold black downward arrow has appeared you click left click and the whole table has got selected the column has got selected and click on the tab where you would like to have the color to get appear at the background so that's the first part of the design that is very easy in case you want more design go to design tab after selecting the table and here you will find multiple options you click on here and you will see that the options are being displayed right now like this way so let me do a little bit of formatting so I can make you more easily understand about the next function if we go back to design tab you can see on the left side top headed header row first column last column banded banded columns and banded rows if I untick this banded rows you can see the change that the color even odd has got disappeared if I click on banded columns you see the even column has got the background color so that's the way you can design your table easily you need a conversion go to layout tab select your table and friends you can see here in the layout convert to text click on it there are four options being available if we need only tabs it's being by default already selected click on ok you will see the table is now disappeared so you can see your information is not displayed without table because sometimes what happens if we don't know about the table information we start entering a data and start using the space button or tab button but the alignment of the table is not that much qualitative but if you use tables you find very qualitative work over here now select this go to insert tab go to tables here you find that this option was earlier not enabled now it's being enabled convert text to table now it is a text we have to convert it into table 
click on table and you can find already we have seven columns so by default ms word document has a display that that you your document has seven columns yes in case friends you are using space button or tab button you might not find the right information here because ms word won't be able to count it so right now we click on ok button and you see a table has come up again back now friends if we again select the table and go to convert to text on the layout tab and this time we need commas after the information click on ok and you can see here the table has disappeared and after every information there is a comma being displayed and a little space as well so if you wanted to send this information to someone else in your email or wanted to send the document straight away so that's a very handy information for you where you don't have to mention comma by yourself you just need a table enter your information select it and go to layout and convert to text to comma all right friends now we'll be moving forward to the second last method sorting table information we select this option we go to layout then we go to a to z and here you can see the column header has started appear so we click the um, select the amount and the amount has number so by default it has selected the number we wanted to display it in a descending way and click on ok so you can see the highest number has appeared here in case you wanted to select the name and name should disappear uh, should appear in ascending order click on ascending and click ok so you will find your name started appear in in ascending orders in case friends you want this call amount in front of bill number what we do generally we start deleting this information or we copy this table separately and enter new column or row on left side or right side but that's a bit of time consuming I'll tell you another little met method over here which is very handy you see if I go on top of amount there is black downward arrow has come up click it the whole table column has got selected now you come to first option here don't do anything press the right click do not leave it you can see it has a little column at the tail of the cursor do not leave your pressed right click now drag it to the bill number side and leave it and it will show you option move here in case you are using 2010 2013 16 ms word you want to find this information your table will get move immediately so you if you wanted to do this again go on mode to right click now come to first option again right click press it continuously then drag it to the left side and you find that your mode column has moved in front of the status column like we did for the amount now friends our last option over here is header and footer Generally, what we do is we just click here and we start added a header start from here. We write it by our way. We can add table here at the header and at the footer. But I'll let you know a simple way which is very handy for you. If I click on the top side of the header, you see a design tab has come up. And in the header, if you click on the header, you will find what information or title by default the samples available over here you can add any one of them in case I would like to add the first one and I would like to add here explore YouTube channel and I click on the outside to get rid of the 
header and footer so you can see on each page now the header has come up but what happens if you would like to add page number at the footer so you click on the page and you click on the downside and you go to design tab over there in footer you will find information here as well right now we are not adding the page first we will just see the option being available in the footer so you can see here and select any one of them to add in your footer in case you wanted to add page number then click on page number now page number if you click on the top of page it will make your page appear number to appear on top in case you wanted to display the page on bottom then go to bottom of page and you get the options here here friends always use this option which I am telling you right now the option name is bold numbers 3 click on it you will find the word has already calculated the number of pages being right now in your MS Word document and this is a second page on which we are right now so that's easily how you can add your page number in case you don't want this you wanted to show different old and even pages under the design tab click over there different first page click over there then you will see that the first page has got no page number but but it is count as one and the page numbering has started from the second page as a page number two because it is page number two because we have selected the first option and in case we select like the second option different odd and even pages then it will display result like this way that your second page has got no page number and third has got then fourth has no got then fifth has got so we go to first option and we untick this second option and click outside the header and footer no friends you might be interesting to know about this further function because here if we select a large data of table and go to home tab and here you can select the all borders the border will appear similarly we can find it in the design tab as well the borders but friends here you can see that my heading of this table is not appearing on the next page and I would like to up get appear this heading so we select this we go to layout and you can see here in the layout repeat header rows so I click it in the moment I click it it get golden color and if we get down on the next page you can see here the header has got appeared now as a heading I hope you like this video friends please like and share explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching my video thank you